Wasn't there an elevator right here last time? Or was that up here? Yeah, where did this go? Oh. Alright. So I guess welcome back. I have to go meet Asgore. Oh, me and Shans. Why are the church bells ringing? It must be time for Sunday Mass. Um. So, we finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's it then. Now, you will be judged. You'll be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you burned. What's EXP? It's acronym. It stands for Execution Points. Way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. Stands for level of violence. Way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gain any love. Of course, doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just keep that certain tip. You just kept that certain. You just kept. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. Jesus Christ, I can't read. <laughs> no matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did with a smile. You never get any love? You never gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face your greatest challenge from your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgard will take your soul and destroy humanity. Or if you kill Asgard and go home, the monsters will remain trapped in the ground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would throw in the towel by now. But you didn't escape far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. I'll count on you, kid. Good luck. Thanks, Dan. You like that coach that says, oh yeah, go do this. And then I do it. And you say, good job. What's this? Throne room! There's a lot of text for just saying throne room. Do, 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 do. You throw a lot of stairs and I just ran down them. Oh, that's a lot of souls! Yogi. Somebody's not gonna have a picnic basket. Alright, we can't escape there. What was the point of that place? Oh, I know, did I pass by the throne room? <laughs> oh. Oh, birds. I never noticed a bird sound effects before. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Oh, it's someone there. Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. How the hell can I? 
Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. I so badly wanted to sell. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, Asgore is a cowboy. Deal with it. He likes to say howdy. But, you know how it is. Elk here in the wild west, we know about outlaws. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. You know, pretty weather for a game of catch. You know. Okay, it's turning into a different accent. You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. Get a bit of snake. It's drowning. It's another phone covered in white white sheet. How tense. Just thinking about it. Like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not. I understand. I'm not ready yet either. Ah, I'm so nervous, actually. Holy crap, why am I nervous? <laughs> ah, I got the jibbers. This is... Yeah, put your plate here, This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Go back. I see. Anything you want to do is important enough. Even something as small as a reading book or taking a walk. Please take your time. Why exactly, but Alright. Here goes nothing. Oh. Back so soon. How you feeling? Ready. I see. This is it, then. Ready. Dad. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. You human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Hold up a second, no, wait. Um. Uh, you can't really tell Asker you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oh, Jesus Christ, what am I supposed to do in that situation? Uh, I don't want to fight him. Okay, um. Oh, crap. I have no idea anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep, keep smacking him with a book. Well then, that never happened, you know. Actually, never mind. We're just gonna go right back into it. Oh, it just knows. Oh, there is no. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Fire.
Um, okay. Talking won't do anything. To <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Probably a better weapon I can have. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! I... Okay, so I'm gonna go and get some healing, to say the least. Which means I have to travel all the way back. So, I went back, bought, what was it, like three more crab apples, and switched out my cloudy glasses and notebook for a burnt pan and apron. So, tax should do a little bit more. I'm just hoping. All right, and fast forward to where I was in the last fight. Okay, we're back where we were. You think about all my cuphead training that I would like, oh yeah, I would be used to that. No, you never get used to that. Survive the next attack. The answer was almost no. Okay. How do you dodge that? 
You can't touch that. Okay. Last food item. the hope for the fucking best. Oh god, we're so gonna fucking die. Okay, okay. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. As they had to destroy any human that came here, I would use their souls to become a godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Man, I would destroy humanity. I let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. I became southern. Well, I guess they sort of sound the same. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just want everyone to have hope. But. I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul, leave this cursed place. After everything I have done to hurt you. Would you rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best as we can. We sit living in a room, room telling stores, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. LOL did not get wrecked, <laughs> loser. Dab, 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 dab. So I want to have one health? <gasps> you idiot! You think I forgot your voice? <laughs> you have to learn a thing! In this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> well, God damn it. Stupid game couldn't take all that power. It crashed. All right. Hmm. Long ago, two horses ruled over the earth. Actually, the stinky mini while playing. Oh! Oh, it's now called Flowey Tail. Up on the top right. Oh, that's lovely. Um, help. Holy! It's me, Flowey. Flowey the Flower! I owe you a huge thanks! You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I would have never gotten past him. Oh, now you've turned into an alien. But now, with your help, 
He's dead. And I've got a human souls. Okay, I do not like that laugh. Boy! Boy! <laughs> I've been empty for so long. Feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wiggling. Ah, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I have eight six souls. I just need one more, or I become a god. Become god in this PC. You have no power in the real world. Ha ha ha. That's where I'm coming. And then, with my newfound powers... Would you like to play a game? No, oh, go away, Mask. It's not you, this is between me and him. But now you want to play. You know what? I feel like you would be the most appropriate... Good. With him out of the way, let's have some fun, you fucking plant. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Now I'll show you the real meaning of being virtual. <laughs> oh, laugh all you want. Oh, you forget about escaping to your old safe house. Because I can just totally restart everything to a genocide. Even on you. Even you know that. Only reason why you have power is because I refused to hurt. Well, actually, he refused. You know what? Never mind. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over all your... over your own death. Ooh, the creepy smile. It's like I wasn't the rich... I thought I wasn't being original, but now I've just seen everybody do it now. Ooh, creepy smile and red eyes. Soulless. So you can watch me tear your you to blowing pieces over and over and over. What? Yeah, you see how much you care. Yeah, you see how much you care. Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> what the? I, I don't know what that laugh was, but sure. You really are an idiot. Well, take me on then, you bloody fucker. Oh. I think I've overestimated myself this time around. Uh. What have I done to myself? <laughs> oh dear god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, power loss, power loss. Ow, 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 oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I've got to have no power in this world. Uh, what's the warning about? I need your combat skills, you motherfucker. You called for help. Wait, I can't die. <laughs> I can't die. <laughs> Oh, so the point is to get you hurt as much as possible. <laughs> well, bloody hell. No, uh, no, 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 no. You can't contribute time in space like this. Oh no! <laughs> well, god damn it.
Fuck. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little bit of the wall. See, it's level I've ever seen one. Yeah, fine. I'll finish what I started. Oh, it's fun time. Blah, 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 blah. This is going to be fun. Well, at least there's that. Alright, that's good. Seems good. What the? Okay, at least I made it past that. Oh no. <laughs> warning, warning, warning. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Part of a nutritious breakfast. Oh god, oh god, oh god, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck. <sighs> Not the warning one. Ah, my hands are numb. Getting stressed out? Against me now. Besides, it actually hurting me a whole fuck ton. Come on. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Wait, where am I? Oh god, I'm just bad at dodging all the time. Come on, come on, come on! Oh god, my hands are becoming too numb. <coughs> <coughs> Are you sure you're, you're sure you're okay? I am fine. Back up. Oh no, what? What the hell? Why can't I? Oh, I almost died. You're doing good, man. I mean. How <laughs> much you got against me now? No! No! What's gone? Be half an urn! You! You! Oh god damn it! You idiot! Die! 
with your arm in the car, in the car, in the car, in the car. Can't even do anything original, can't you? <laughs> you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. On you? I am the god of my own world, just like you. You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. <laughs> Golly, that's right. You're worthless friends. Can't save you now. Gabriel, I dare you. Crying to the darkness. Mommy, daddy, somebody help. See who did. I called out for help. Yo, any fam in the dark? But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna watch you die. <laughs> Denied. What? How'd you? Well, I just. Oh, yep. Sweat rolls down your face. Ew, would you look at that? What are they doing? No! No! This can't. You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! <laughs> hey, you did it. I guess I did. You're actually good for something. Fuck you. I want to kill. We're gonna mercy. I want to kill. We're gonna mercy. I want to kill. Get off. We're gonna mercy. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. For mercy. This memory won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. Oh, what you gonna do again? I'll kill you. I swear I'll do it. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Oh, that looks familiar. <laughs> well then. Dun -dun. Toby Fox, aka the Mad Pad Colorado. Usha. <laughs> No, Photoshop, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess that's... No, wait. I know there's more. You can't hide that from me. Hey! Is, everyone, is anyone there? Well, I'm just going to say. I mean, a snowman really happy. Yay! I guess you'd say something else, too. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling the underground. She has a new policy. All humans fall down here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. 
the human souls that King gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that pain ha isn't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the King, and things are looking good for, for our freedom, King is trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, hey, without giving up hope down here, don't give up hope wherever you are, okay? That's how long it'll take. Oh, we get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here. Knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Elvis with her research. She's gonna get us out of here. Er? Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Elvis likes having her around. Uh oh. Hey, what are you up to, oh, punk? Got the text to speech. Ah, <laughs> uh, fine, whatever. N G H A A A A. Please don't nug nug the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me? Oh, yeah. That's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's only one member now. Well, he's extremely good! Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't look at the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Alfie's lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? <laughs> That's... quite the feat, but okay, sure. <laughs> awesome, right? Hey. I'm sorry what happened with the Sogor. You were doing what you had to I should be sorry, what the hell? It's not your fault, eh? Ah, darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne. Snap out of it. I guess I'll tell you what Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are. I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? Aww. For our sakes. Thanks. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the Queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel. Toriel. Do you wanna? Hey, she says she s busy. Okay, good, cause I think I kind of forgot her voice acting. But if she knew who we were talking to, we would get the phone for her at least a few hours. We have mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? But call. She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. The thing's almost out of batteries. So, I had to cut the short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now! See ya, punk. Click. You! Why? Yeah, why are you back? Why did you let me go? Didn't you realize being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. Made all these great friends, but now, you'll probably never see them again. Well, let's imagine how much they've set you back. They uh, the, the. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you won't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things end up like this? Why? Is life, is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you? I knew someone to get you a better ending. You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? 
It's like you could become been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she'll just got be the key to your happiness. See you soon. Well, God damn it. God damn it. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Fuck it. We're gonna go for this the entire way. Um. Okay, I was on my way to the lab, but ring. Okay. Hey. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Fuck it. Human, you have to deliver something for me. You know what? Maybe I'll just revoice her. Uh, please. I'm at Snow Dean in front of Papyruses. See ya, punk. Well then. Oh. Since, remember, Papyrus has been beacon to the flower because we were at Sands and Grillby's. So, Thalmy must have told Papyrus to tell Undyne so we can try to be better friends with Alphys. Clever girl. Anyways, just when you thought this adventure was over, it was not. So, we still have to make one more friend. Then, well, It'll be exciting. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe and like, and I will see you all for the last two episodes, I would say. So, see you later, friends.